Paznia. Liberated areas among the tyrannical wastelands. Governments and their technocratic counterparts have illegitimately laid claim to the vast majority of land here on planet Earth, and have subsequently imposed draconian control upon essentially all potential methods of travel. By plane, train, or automobile, it need not matter. This was indeed the case before 2020, but is ever more prominent now with international travel slowed and the bring to the forefront programs like ID2020, which will inevitably force more anarchists, Venuans, or otherwise self-liberators out of the first realm and into the second. In physical space and time, these second realms consist of temporary and permanent autonomous zones. Pazes and Tazes for short are liberated areas of land, time, or imagination, where one can be for something, not just against and where new ways of being human together can be explored and experimented with. The main distinction between Pazes and Tazes is in a temporal sense, the former being permanent, or semi-permanent, the latter existing and dissipating in quick, intense bursts, i.e. freedom festivals, evocative of the plasma discharges in our electric universe. In this piece, I will elaborate on already in the work's efforts to build up the physical agora, how Pazes and Tazes can synergistically work together by necessity, and how you can get involved in creating this underground network of self-liberators and secure volume home bases. Enter the Free Republic of Paznia. The Model Country As Erwin S. Strauss wrote in How to Start Your Own Country, one low-risk, fun, and mentally liberating strategy is to start your own model country. The process is simple. You declare your property an independent country, and that's it. The rest is up to you. Sealand and Liberland are two modern, well-known examples. Another was formally announced on July 4th, 2020. Veritas Pasnia, the self-liberator's paradise. And since geographical location is irrelevant when it comes to freedom, I posit that Pasnia become the country of freedom seekers, of self-liberators, and the outpost name where the city name would be in the old slave society model. The reference to permanent autonomous zones is obvious, but Paz is also peace in Spanish. The Paznia Constitution The Free Republic's birth on July 4th was accompanied by a Declaration of Independence and subsequent release of the Constitution. Very briefly put, signatories explicitly agree to a respect for and commitment to privacy, the use of pseudonyms is encouraged, don't hurt people and honor your contracts, a culture that encourages humanity to flourish, rather than degrade and regress. And lastly, a recognition of the important task ahead of us, to ensure the continuation of freedom into the future, another way for those seeking a way out. When the infrastructure is in place, individuals will be able to sign the digital and or physical constitution. No social contract nonsense here. Even when not in these realms of peace and freedom, that signature serves as an oath and commitment to this great work. Vanu's role. An awkward contraction of the words voluntary, not vulnerable. Vanuans take steps to make themselves more invulnerable to coercion by way of lifestyle changes. One of the core tenets of Vanu is mobility. Reason being, if the coercers can't find you, they can't coerce you. And, say, if you're a van nomad or a perpetual world traveler, public or private coercers will have a harder time trying to track your location. On the other hand, the issues associated with land ownership are extensive, for example, fee simple versus loyal title, property taxes, eminent domain, nuisance abatement, etc., and have been covered elsewhere. Therefore, I believe many Venuans will choose or be relegated to mobility with a network of self-sufficient passes scattered throughout the world, providing safe havens to the nomadic or traveling compatriots. The recommended and safest way to acquire the land for passes is by way of a proxy merchant. Proxy merchants are entrepreneurs who specialize in facilitating trade and interaction between the two realms. In other words, they would be the interface with any potential government agencies, and optimally, potential coercers wouldn't even know of your association with the property. Although, if you're already a property owner, consider filling that proxy merchant role yourself. There's certainly some risk involved, but if action isn't taken in the short term, freedom may not exist in any fashion for future generations. And as the technocrats and social engineers continue their dangerous games with individuals' lives, we're going to need you to step up. Self-sufficient Vanu home bases. It may be a year or two down the road, but eventually the cost of compliance will outweigh the cost of resistance, and someday, those who believe in freedom will be completely forced out of that society. This entails losing access to grocery stores, financial services, medical services, etc. On one hand, that may be for the best. 
Big pharma and big food in cooperation with other barbaric industries have crippled the health and mental capabilities of most human beings, and modern finance is merely another tool of control. But this losing of access will require change and adaptability, meaning Pasnias, if it sticks, will need to be largely self-sufficient homesteads uh, or home bases. Think of these passes as crypto trading outposts of the past, only with their own unique and burgeoning cultures, and with the love of freedom and free humans at its core. The Pasnia Library The Pasnia Library will be a digital and hopefully physical archive of books, guides, schematics, and anything else on a wide variety of subjects. Gardening, raising livestock, permaculture farming, 3D printed gun files, historical texts, etc. This library will be archived on multiple redundant and resilient platforms, the above-ground internet, the deep web, decentralized networks, blockchains, etc. Currently, it's hosted on Keybase, with other vast archives awaiting a unified compilation. It is our duty to ensure that this information and these works are available to future generations. More to come later. Communication It must be assumed that all communication over the internet is compromised. Indeed, encryption works, but the best scheme is rendered potentially useless if combined with a vulnerable, backdoored software and hardware. Put another way, the encryption is only as good as the operating system it's running on. In the mid to long term, the goal needs to be a separate decentralized mesh network, but in the short term, other solutions must be developed if organizing is going to take place in cyberspace. A potential cryptographic system is in the works, likely available following Vanufest, an event here at Veritas at the end of 2020. The idea is called dual-layer encryption. Briefly, the idea is to combine low-tech and high-tech, that is, physical ciphers, for example, transposition or substitution ciphers, with digital encryption, maybe pretty good privacy if it's an email, signal if an instant message. That way, if PGP had a backdoor in it from the start, unlikely but possible, or your personal NSA agent screen captured the message before it was encrypted and sent via signal, they will still be left with incomprehensible ciphertext. Clearly, these physical ciphers will have to be agreed upon in person and away from the presence of any digital devices. At that point, trusted nomads can deliver these encryption schemes to trusted individuals or other outposts, following the same security culture standards. All institutions are corrupted. Most of the above components consist of building alternatives to that which exists in the first realm. This sort of mindset must permeate all areas of the human experience, even those which may not immediately come to mind. Areas of science like medicine, health and nutrition, cosmology, electrical engineering, etc. Reason being, the mind control and propaganda are so strong that they totally envelop every aspect of our lives. And much history and information has been hidden. Here at Veritas Pasnia, we have, or are working towards the following. The Freedom Observatory. The Committee for the Decentralization of Science and Medicine in the PASNIA Committee of Safety. These will fulfill the alternatives for cosmology and physics, medicine, as well as law and justice, respectively. And of course, law and justice as it pertains. The Digital PASNIA PASs and TASs can also exist in cyberspace. Therefore, a digital PASNIA will be built, which will mainly serve as a first layer of vetting. This hasn't been developed yet, but there could be a forum, a PASNIA network discounts, other products and services in the Agora, and... I don't know. For those who wish to support the development of Pasnia, opportunities for voluntary contributions will also be available. In the meantime, are you ready to declare your independence? Start your own Pasnia today. For more information or to sign up for email updates, please visit pasnia.com.